Hello dear students, welcome you all in the second chapter of unit number third that is of poetry. Now in this second chapter, you know me yes, I am Madhav Dudate and today we are dealing with the second poem and the second poem that is Desiderata by Max Arman. So we will talk about this poem in detail but before going to the poem today we will talk about the poet who this Max Arman is. Yes. Max Arman he was born in 1872 and died in 1945. He was an American writer, poet and attorney from Terre Watt, Indiana. That is Indiana, it is a US state in North America. So this Max Ehrman, he was an American, okay. And he lives in Indiana, he lived in Indiana and this person was famous as a writer, as a poet and also he is most famous as an attorney from Terevente. Attorney means a legal advisor or a legal lawyer we can call who works for the state. Okay. And he was of German descent, means though he was living in America, but he was not by birth, he was not an American, instead he was a, of a German descent. and young Ehrman he studied at different places. First of all he completed his degree uh, in Dupo University in Indiana itself. Uh, before that his schooling was there in Terhat 4th district school and German Methodist school. Okay means his childhood was a bit different but later on he received his degree in English and he received it from Dupo, Dupo University in Indiana and after receiving degree he moved on to further study to Harvard University and there in the Harvard University he studied law and philosophy and when he was studying in Harvard University at that time he started working also and uh, that was the period of 19 sorry 1896 and at that time he also started working as editor of national magazine that is the rainbow the rainbow is a national magazine and he was working as an editor in that magazine and after completion of his study he again moved on to his hometown his hometown was in indiana that is green castle so arman returned to his hometown of terehot that is in Indiana in 1898 to practice law and as I told you before he was attorney of the state and he was appointed as deputy state's attorney okay this appointed to act for legal matters he was working for legal matters of the state and for that he was appointed in Vigo country of the Indiana for two years Erman was awarded with Doctor of Letters. You might have known about this. This is called as DELETE. Okay, it is an it is a honorary degree that has been given. There is no specific syllabus and all. It is on the basis of merits of that person, social, political, so many different. On the basis of that, this degree is awarded to him uh, in about 1937. Okay, Erman was died in 1945 and he is buried in Highland Lawn Cemetery in Terre Haute, Indiana. This Terre Haute, Indiana is his hometown and one of the most important place for him and the place which respected him a lot. Okay, And that's why if we see in 2010 this city Terre Haute, it honored him with a life-size statue a bronze statue okay is what they did they made a bronze statue of Arman sitting on a downtown bench pen in hand with a notebook in his lap miss in that way his statue was developed 
and uh, it is there in the city we can find out its image also and see near that statue on a plank of that bench what has been written there they see the rata the title of our present poem that has been written on that plank and on the way of that it is embedded okay the walkway uh, which which is used to walk from that place and there they have embedded the lines from this poem miss everyone who is walking from that place he will definitely look at that statue he will see the title of the poem tesidereta on one of the plank of that bench and on the ground he can find out the lines from this poem that we are going to study and we will study that definitely actually what this poem is about okay max erman is a spiritual motivational person and throughout his life he often tried to compose works uh, who deals with spiritual matters but the poem desiderata is one which is very famous miss his other works that are not that much famous but the present poem desiderata is very important work composed by max erman and this work was continually making him more and more fame his most of the reputation and fame now relied on the current poem itself if we look at the title of the poem they see the rata that is a latin title definitely it's not an english word so it is a latin word and this latin word it means things desired that is a plural form desideratum is the singular form and desiderata is the plural form and this desideratum miss the thing desired that is single only one thing would be there one desire and desiderata miss plural things desired things desired means there would be more than one things and which different things we desire in our life that has been communicated by max erman throughout this poem the present poem is an inspirational poem written in 1927 okay actually if we go back to the history of the poem then it started somewhere in the early 20th century sorry 1920s okay so he started writing about this poem but in 1927 this poem has written uh because at the age of uh, it is uh, at the age of 55 and this poem which has written in 1927 why we call it as 1927 because in 1927 he submitted the poem for copyright when he has written previously exactly we don't know but it is supposed that the poem has composed somewhere uh, in 1920s early 1920s but it was registered for copyright in 1927 and that's why we call it as it is written in 1927 at the age of 55 though it has been written in 27 actually the poem get famous after death of max erman till the time he was not honored remembered by the readers and the poem become famous only after his death itself in this poem he attempts to offer a positive outlook towards life now see the things desired means the title itself it gives us so many different a strong meaning that what we need in our life the needs of human beings that has been communicated by max erman and throughout the poem erman tries to inspire people he tries to offer a positive outlook towards life and this is being done by so many spiritual personalities okay we listen to motivational speakers uh, there are many channels on on that channels we listen talk about the 
spiritual ideas and these spiritual ideas or the ideas that has communicated which gives us moral particularly they have to be affected on our heart and mind and in the same way uh, max erman tried to communicate the things okay what we have to do in our life how we have to lead our life so that we can go towards our ultimate goal because the ultimate goal of life is so many important and as we know the world is often seen to be chaos full of chaos fraud hypocrisy loneliness misery okay so many negativities are there in this world and most of the time we also every person everyone in the life he sees this negativities of the life and when this negativities become more dominant us then automatically it leads to the end of our life and it seizes the life you can see there are so many uh, accidents particularly suicides why this happens nowadays this sushant sharma is uh, very famous one okay but it is it happens because of the negativity and he though we have all these negativity but we can eliminate that from our life with the positive thinking with the spiritual ideas incorporating into our mind into our soul and definitely with that we can develop a positive outlook towards life and erman also talks about this he tried to offer his readers the positive attitude he offers his readers to look life as positively and uh, all miss positive ideas he has communicated throughout the work the poem he tries to inspire people to change their perception of the world when we think negatively automatically what happens it becomes it it creates negative ideas within us and one leads to other one so instead of that when we have any negative idea suddenly we have to change it into positive idea we have to inspire ourselves and erman inspires us inspires people to change their perception of the world okay whatever our perception everyone thinks the world is cruel the world is bad but the world is good if you are good and that erman wanted to tell us he advises his reader to follow certain guidelines okay and if we follow certain guidelines if we manage our life we cannot manage others life we cannot change others yes definitely we cannot so what we can do we can change ourselves because our soul our mind our heart it is within our hand and that we can change we cannot change others and so what we have to do we have to change ourselves and it is in our hand how we react to the world on the basis of that it it would be decided are you happy and or not so it depends on us and that's why if we follow certain guidelines <coughs> he has given us some guidelines how to lead our life and if we follow that then definitely our life will be happy and fruitful and we have to follow that yes and definitely we will follow i know Erman wrote the work in the early 1920s but he did not use any title for it as i told you actually this poem was written in early 1920s somewhere exactly we don't know but it has been registered in 1927 for the copyright and that registration was also without title the title desiderata this title was not there at the time of the registration of this poem he registered that poem in 1927 with first paragraph why we are calling it paragraph see actually this poem is a prose poem it is not in a poetic form okay there is definitely the difference between the language of poetry and language of prose yes you know difference <coughs> prose its language is a bit different here we would have sentences but the language of poetry that would be different one in the in, in the language of poetry we would have different figure of speeches rhyme rhythm meter so many different things 
okay but in language of prose we cannot find that and similarly this present poem it follows no rhyme no rhythm because it don't have language of poetry it is a prose poem the poem written in prose form and that's why we are calling it stanza or we can call it as a paragraph also so this poem has been registered with its first paragraph or first stanza to uh, for us copyright in 1927 so we call it as this poem has written in 1927 in 1933 he distributed the poem in the form of a christmas card yet arman has not published the poem but in 1933 he distributed this poem on christmas card means uh, on at the time Chris, uh, at the time of christmas or any festival we distribute the cards okay uh, to greet friends so in this way he distributed his poem on that card with the name desiderata and this indicates that the poem received its title in 1933 got it after that in 1942 see this poem how it becomes famous and famous it has been written earlier registered in 1927 got its title in 1933 and in 1942 a depressed woman gave a copy of the poem without name of author there was no name of the author to a psychiatrist okay a depressed woman has given the poem to a psychiatrist to distribute it among the psychologically ill patients now see how inspirational this poem is and near about 1000 copies has been distributed by that psychiatrist and we can we, we we can find out this poem is also distributed to the soldiers in the second world war because at that time uh, in 1939 the second world war already had started and 1942 you know Uh, it was the peak point of the uh, second world war so at that time this poem has been distributed to the soldiers also to develop their confidence to motivate them <coughs> uh, to give a positive outlook towards the life and to remove the negativity in their mind so this poem become famous at that time but there was no name of the author till the time we don't have name of the author but when erman died in 1945 okay he died in 1945 after that his wife published his poems in a particular text that is known as the poems of max erman that has been published after his death and this poem was included into that work it means this poem was published in 1945 got it see it was written somewhere 1920s registered for copyright 1927 then distributed as a card and received its title desiderata in 1933 in 1942 it has been distributed to without author's name to uh, psych psychological patients and also world war second soldiers and in 1945 finally after authors writers or poets death his wife published a volume of his poetry the poems of max erman and this poem has been published into it after that in 84 or 1948 the version was in full form of one long prose okay when it was published it was in a prose format itself there was no distinction no division was there uh, even we don't have paragraphs also it was a one single piece but later on it has been modified and on the basis of meaning and ideas uh, five lines six lines stanzas or we can call um, paragraphs they have been combined in that way and this text was widely distributed in the poster form in 60s and 70s means uh, the present poem desiderata it gives its fame and popularity mostly in the 1960s and 70s now if we look 
at the title as I told you about the title that talks about certain things which we desire in our life because life is something that is full of good and bad elements bad things every time we may not get the good news and good things in our life okay so both the elements would be there in our life and when we have both of these at that time we have to balance our life and that is very important to lead our life in a better way and if you are able to balance the good and bad whatever things in our life then automatically we will move on towards the ultimate goal of life we will lead our life happily and if we fail to deal with that then definitely our life gets easier if you are not able to handle if you are not able uh, to manage the evil things with you okay because it is world and everyone have good and bad everyone no one uh, may only get uh, the good things in life many a time we face problems but we have to face that problems and then and then only you will go further if you are, you are happy you get you, you have some achievements okay so these achievements this happiness all these things we have to enjoy in our life and similarly when we have some disagreements disappointments that also we have to deal that also we have to uh, what we can say enjoy because everything happens in our life and we have to balance them if we have disagreements disappointments then we should not be more and more sad and we should not go uh, to the what we can say the last elements but we have to look something positive into that also because failure is the first step towards success and that's why if we have if we encounter with failure we have to try again we have to try more and more and definitely after that once you will get the success in it so in this way arman also talks about all these things he tries to motivate us throughout the poem and the detailed poem uh, or uh, the line by line analysis of the poem we will discuss in the next lecture till the time have all good day to you thank you